So what are the plans for today? I don't know. We could watch the political debate on TV. Dude, I'd rather watch paint dry. Ooh, that sounds fun too. That's just a saying. I don't actually want to watch paint dry. Me neither. Hey, boys. Why don't we ask your mom? Mrs. Garcia. No, no, no. no. That, that, that's not a good idea. Brando and I were wondering if you have any ideas on what we should do today because we're extremely bored. You're bored? Ponte a limpiar! You never tell a Mexican mom you're bored. They'll force you to clean. But the house is already clean. It doesn't matter. Mexican parents will find something for you to do. My bad. Guess we're gonna clean today then. Chris, put shoes on, pendejo. What was that about? Mexican moms and abuelas hate when you walk around the house barefoot because they believe that stepping on the cold floor will make you sick. Well, if the floor's cold, why not just turn on the heater? That's another thing you can't do in a Mexican household. Turning on the AC or the heater is forbidden because it's a waste of money. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. What else can't I do? There's only a couple other things you can't do. I have the list right here. Oh, thank God it's not that long. <clears throat> number one, never say you don't want to go to church. Number two, don't ever go anywhere without permission. Number three, never say que, only say mande. Number four, don't forget to turn off the beans. Number five, never cuss at or around your parents. Number six, never forget to say bye to every single one number of your Number nine, don't tell your abuela you're Number seven, don't care at all. Number two, number eight, 575. So never throw away plastic bags. Don't Do you know how horrible it is to throw plastic bags into the environment? Number 999, don't talk back to your parents. And number 1000, don't cry. Don't cry? Yeah. Usually Mexican parents will say something along the lines of, Stop crying before I give you something to cry about. I gotta say, that's a lot to take in. How do you even remember all of this? Well, when you've been hit by the chancla like a million times for violating these rules, you start to learn pretty quick. I see. Oh wait, am I allowed to scratch my head? Or is there a rule against that too? <sighs> no, Chris. There isn't a rule against that. Grease! What the heck? I thought you said there wasn't a rule against that. There isn't. I think my mom just wanted to throw a chancla at you. What is up guys? Hope you enjoyed that video. If you liked it, make sure you give a big like and also comment down below if you've experienced these rules, all right? And if you're not Mexican, let me know what are the rules of your culture or just comment down below something because I read every single one of you guys' comments. And with all that being said, make sure you guys follow us on Instagram and Twitter at the Crazy Gorilla. Show us some love there. And with all that being said, if you guys want to check out the rest of the episodes of this series, Mexican Survival Guide, link will be in the description. We have 33 other, other episodes, I think, right now. Yeah, 33 other episodes on our Facebook Watch page. Go check it out. It's only on Facebook Watch. And with all that being said, we'll see you guys next time. Bruh!